Hi, my name is Orion Herman. I'm the CEO founder of a company called Liquid Gold, and we are passionate about saving water and aiding towards food security for our generation. We hygienically redirect through a process called flow simulation. So we take any existing building or new building and we redirect the urine or the piping from the waste system into or sewer into a collection tank on the building. So all the urine then will flow into a, on, on site on, into a collection tank where we actually collect and then treat it uh, into a compound called urea, or we utilize the undiluted urine directly onto the soil as a natural fertilizer. Uh, let me conceptualize the idea and the process. So we all retrofit any existing um, ur urinal. Currently, all the waste will land up, all the waste going to the sewer which lands up in your wastewater plants. Because we're not treating all of it, there is discharge and lands up into our aqua system as, as nutrients discharge, which causes urification, which lands up as pollution. There's two big issues here. It's toxic for our fish, as well as the overload of, of algae, which becomes unfit for human consumption. Right, so the solution is a process called flow simulation, where we will redirect the urine, go into a collection tank, and then we will be able to collect the urine and uh, with honey suckers or lo logistics, we'll be able to collect it. Take it, land it into a, a, a storage unit or urine depth. This is where we're able to turn it into a compound called urea. Uh, which is then utilized in the agriculture space, or we're able to can it into undiluted urine. Further to this, now we're also able to take the urine and convert it into a very precious energy, which is H2. So where we implemented uh, was schools, corporate, stadiums, and so forth. So it's far more easier to retrofit than, uh, and less expensive than to treat uh, the nutrients that is landing up on our waste plants. And I was spending millions of rand, to, uh, it, which is an extensive exercise to treat all the urine. So the conversion is far more cheaper to simply retrofit as a beginning pipe solution with our waterless urine. We are clear water mall where we have the waterless urinal waste system installed. Currently at the moment there are about 350,000 male users that come through here on a monthly basis and it's gone completely waterless, 100% waterless. Not only are we saving them on water but energy to pull the water through as well as their operations costs on their plumbing, on their blockages. Uh, it, on average we're saving them about 7,000 rand on running costs per annum per urinal. So we retrofit into a 50 mil pipe. It's, it's an easy retrofit, and all the urine is coming through the one-way valve system. It's a tight seal lock so that no sewer gets comes through. It's perfectly waterless. It's a ceramic bowl so that nothing, no residue remains over. So it's far more easier to retrofit than, uh, and less expensive than to treat uh, the nutrients that is landing up on our waste plants. And I'm spending millions of rand, to, uh, it, which is an extensive exercise to treat all the urine. So the conversion is far more cheaper to simply retrofit as a beginning pipe solution with our waterless urinals. But with our 5,000 urinals in the market thus far, we uh, have started to redirect the urine into collection tanks. And with the undiluted urine, we're able then to crystallize it into a compound called urea. So it is a sustainable uh, sort of solution. Now we just need to scale it uh, with regards to it. So yes, we're on the market. The way that we collect it, uh, we would use a honey sucker that will come and collect it. Uh, it will flow into your waste policy, uh, or alternatively, we can crystallize it on site. So you have those options with regards to it. And we'd like to incentivize, we, there's a solution to incentivize the guys to collect it so there's further employment uh, for the guys who do collect it and bring it to a urine depot. So the benefits of this is not uh, only to save the water, first and foremost, up front, but we're also able to reduce the sewer cost for any client or any B2Bs or corporates and so forth. But further to this, we are able to provide the agriculture space for your local farm as a natural fertilizer as well at a far cheaper or affordable rate. Um, we also then also able to offer the urea into the cosmetic industry, reduce the, the, the nitrogen on pollution in our cities as well. Um, also then uh, we're able to take the urine and convert it into energy which a lot of research is coming from um, Europe at the moment we take uh, energy well urine and convert it into H2 uh, which is energy uh, so there's a lot of space or markets we can play in you're with my business partner in the mentor of the waterless journal so we're working along subject matters experts uh, that does organic farming who's been doing urine diversion for quite some time there's extensive research with regards to it. So yes, we do have a, a, a bunch of experts that is associated and scientists from UJ as well that are working along uh, the data and the research with regards to how sustainable the, the business is and the solution is.
uh, is our product beneficial? Absolutely. From your corporate point of view, uh, we're able to reduce water through our waterless waste system and reduce the sewer pushback from the city. We're able to reduce the net waste and reduce the, the nutrient overload on our municipalities, um, on our water facility companies. From your agriculture point of view, we're able to provide a sustainable, uh, natural, organic uh, fertilizer for, for the soil, but also encourage plant growth. Um, and from an economic point of view, reducing the, the pollution on our environment, on the aquatic uh, sort of solution, reducing the eurification. So there's a lot of benefits with regards to what we are trying to do and making it more sustainable. So not alone long is it an e factor for urine. Urine is actually a sustainable uh, solution for uh, reducing water, for energy, as well as uh, natural fertilizer for our soil. Urine diversion has been practiced for many, many years and we're changing perceptions. The, the value proposition of the business is more than just waste. People need to change their mind of how they perceive waste. Urine is so rich with nutrients that not, not only does it, uh, is it good for the soil, but it's good for the growth uh, of our economy. It's a good solution to encourage employment and it's good for our farmers. It's also good for, to change perspectives in our youth. I believe that we need to change cultures within our youth in order to strive for a more preservative future and reduce um, the, like I said, the hazardous uh, pollution that we have created. We have to change the way we think and the way we see our waste.